Hey, hey, welcome back to the Complex Entertainment Group. Talking music, tech, business, and life. So today I'm talking about hardware, Akai this time. The Akai LPD8 wireless specifically. So I got this thing off of eBay, I would say last year. All right, so you see the Akai LPD8 wireless. So I do like this thing, number one, just from the eight pads here and the um, eight additional you know, knobs that I have just control different things on my software. It has um, full level, tap to tempo. There are multiple banks on this thing. So let's see, each pad on the top here gives me a different program number. So I have program one, program two, program three, program four. And on each one of those, it gives me the ability to toggle between A and B. So essentially I have 64 different pads on this thing from just going through, changing the program levels and so forth. There's a note repeat. I can configure that and there's a note repeat button here. So standard, you know, normal Akai LPD8. This is just a wireless one. Again, it takes batteries so that I can actually turn the Bluetooth on and connect it. Now the problem, you have downloaded the Akai software and this is specifically if you're on a Mac. The program editor needs to be updated. The developer for this app needs to update it to work with this version of Mac OS. So I am on Ventura, but the darn editor won't work. So therefore, if I were to try to go in and wanting to reprogram my pads, let's say change it to a different MIDI CC or change the knob so that I have a different um, CC message going out when I'm sending it to Reaper or trying to change any VST, I'm stuck. So what you want to do is go to a site or Google Parallels Desktop for Mac. Parallels is an extra external application or software that you can download to your Mac that gives you the ability to run Windows on your Mac system. So I downloaded Parallels to my system and did an installation. In this case for me, I installed it to a separate drive. So I have Parallels here. Um, I downloaded and installed it. It's pretty straightforward. It may take a few minutes um, to install, and then you'll see the Parallels desktop within your applications. Again, all of those, I just add it to a separate drive here, and I'm gonna, I plan to keep this on an external drive in case I wanna go back later and run Parallels again. I'll just continue to use the installation or the files that I have kept on my drive. But regardless of that, here's Parallels. Windows 11 is what I installed. Again, I'm using the free trial. As you see here, it says, I have 14 days until this free trial expires. I click continue. Go ahead and make this bigger. I'm getting this message because again, I'm actually running this off of an external drive. I'm just going to click OK. All right. So switching back screens real quick again. I have my Akai LPD8 wireless plugged in. USB cable is actually plugged in into a port on a hub that I have directly into my Mac. So this is plugged up hardwired. It's not Bluetooth at the moment. This is wired USB connection to my Mac. But again, my peripherals will also appear in parallels because this is just an application that's also running on my Mac. As you see, Mac's in the background here. So what you want to do is, once parallels is installed, you go in, you go to the Akai website. In this case, again, I'm using the LPD8. I did a search for the specifically LDP8 wireless so that I can get to the downloads and the program editor. Download the Windows version in this case. I downloaded it. 
It went to my downloads folder. I installed it. Actually, I'll run it again just for those who want to see. I already did it. Where's your application installation folder? Again, you run it. Do you want to install this app to make changes to your device? Yes. Next. And again, for me, I install all of it. You'll just continue to run through the installation until it's all done. When you go after installation for the Akai software editor, our program editor is done. You go to Windows, go to the Start menu, go to Applications, Apps. You'll see the Akai folder here. LPD8 Wireless Program Editor. Go ahead and open it. Bam, there you go. Since you already have the device plugged in wirelessly. It automatically should connect and see and recognize it as you are utilizing the application on the Windows Program Manager. Now you have the ability to go in and reassign any of the knobs that you need to change the MIDI CC, change the program sends one, two, three, blah, 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 four, change the internal clock, whatever you need to do, change the swing. But remember, you only have parallels for 14 day free trial. So you have 14 days to play around with the configuration on this. That's the workaround that I found. I can then just plug this back and not plug it in, but restart my DAW. Everything works how I have it laid out. Again, if I need to go back and make any changes again, I'll go back and remap or change a fader or an encoder or something to better suit the needs that I need. Super short, quick, easy fix for this. I wish that Akai would update the drivers or the software for this so that it would work on the later versions of Mac OS, but hey, at least I have a workaround and hopefully, you know, this works out for you if you have found yourself in the same situation. So if you found this helpful, please be sure to like, leave a comment below, and as always, subscribe to the channel if you're looking for more content on music, tech, business, and life. This is it. Peace. Complex.